Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Monique the Book Lover. Today we're going to unbox Book Outlet. So this is my very first unboxing video, so I hope you enjoy. Um, I already opened the box because it was a little battered and I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. But I'll go ahead and show you what the box looked like. Uh, if I can pick it up. <laughs> so, as you can see on the side here, there it's all like maybe it was dropped or something. So, this is what it looks like when you open it. You got all this brown paper. You get your little invoice receipt thing. I don't know. More paper. And on the inside, you have a bunch of books. So I'll pull them out and show you if my cat would get out of the way. This is Morgan. I named her after Morgan off of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Or should I say A Court of Mist and Fury or A Court of War and Ruin? I don't know. <laughs> that guitar series. And I don't just have cats, I also have a pit bull. But the first book on top is You by, sorry, that was my cat. <laughs> that was Morgan by Caroline Kepnes. I'm not sure how you say her name. This one has the, um, the Netflix show picture on it. So in case you didn't know, Book Outlet is a website that sells books pretty cheap. But the thing with that is, um, there's usually something wrong with them. Whether it be overstock items and they have a mark on the pages like this one does, or like damages to it, like somebody must have dropped it. And then there's a cut on the spine here, which is pretty common, I guess. So that's okay. It's still in good condition other than that. So I'll put that one right there. And then we have I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica Sanchez. Stop it. Sorry. Oh! Sorry if I'm a little crooked, and I'm sorry that that got interrupted again. My cat decided to jump on the ring light. <laughs> so, um, back to I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica Sanchez. This one, as you can see, it has kind of like a, it was folded. You can see where the book came from. There's no cut mark on the spine. But other than that, it seems like it's in con good condition. So I'll put that up here. And then the next book is Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This one's in good condition. Um, there's a little bit of a wrinkle here. There doesn't seem, there's a marking there. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. Then we have Hope and Other Punch Lines by Julie Bobon. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. There's a cut on the spine right here. Uh, there's a mark on the pages, which they must do to every book. The inside of it seems to be fine. That's the look like without, oh, that's pretty. Has red foiling on the spine. Or no, that's pink. It's cute. Next we have, oh, this is a thick one, um, Year of the Wicked by Jeff Mariotte, Mariotte, four books in one, summer, winter, spring, I'm assuming fall, I can't tell there's a sticker on it, but this is what it looks like, um, there's a mark right there, I'm not sure, there doesn't really seem to be anything else wrong with this, oh, except there's kind of like, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's like a wrinkle here, like that kind of got bent a little bit. So 
so this one looks exciting. It looks like it's about witches. Oh no, you guys got messed up my life, secret life of pets thingies because of her. But who can blame her? I do have my cord right here and she's only three months old. Okay, next we have 99 Days by Katie Cotugno. I'm not sure how you spell that. I mean, not how you spell it, how you say that. Um, this one also has a cut on the spine. I'm not sure if they're doing this on purpose because it always seems to be in the same spot. But it has a mark on the bottom as well. Um, other than that, it seems to be in good condition. I actually read this book in high school and I really liked it, but I don't really remember much about it, but I do know that I read it twice, but it had a different cover on it. Instead of this one, it had, I think, a couple here and then a bunch of random pictures around it of like feet and hands and whatever. Um, and it was hardcover, so maybe they updated the, the design. And then last, but certainly not least, we have A Totally Awkward Love Story by Tom Ellen and Lucy Iveson. This one's cute. It's really pretty. There doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with this. And it has that dot on it. And it's nothing wrong with it. Well, this is cool. It has a bunch of stuff on the inside cover. really cute. I don't know if you can read this. It says, taking my clothes off suddenly seemed complicated. And it has a bunch of other little sayings around it. It's really cute. And then whenever I opened it earlier, I actually took a book out. We'll just let it go. <laughs> I don't know what book fell. Oh, it was a totally awkward love story. Um, but if we move these around, we'll grab A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. This was also in there because I didn't have that yet. It has the dot on it. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. It's in perfect condition. There's no price sticker on it. Yeah, it's in good shape. So that's everything that came in my book outlet box. And right now there is a kitten in it who is testing my patience. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you subscribe, or well, I guess it's not a subscription. If you've bought anything off of Book Outlet, comment below and tell me what you got and if your books were in good condition. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future.